Hello, uh, this is a tutorial for John Smith's cover of This Killer Wave. Uh, it's quite an easy one to play once you get used to the picking part and there's uh, three different parts to the song which I'll show you. So the tuning is uh, D, G, D, G, B, D which is a tuning that he uses a lot. So D, G, D, G, B, D. Okay, so the main melody part of the song, um, with your thumb you're just going to be picking between the 5th string and the 4th string, uh, just in a really simple sort of quarter note rhythm. And then on top of that, at the same time, you're going to play the melody part. So there's, there's three different ways to play the melody part and you can kind of choose which one you want to do and mess around and play different combinations to get different sounds for different parts of the song. So the first one, the most simple one to play, uh, is like this. I'll just do a close-up of that if you can't see it properly. So it's... And then it's just about getting used to playing it between the bass notes. Uh, so just take it really, really slowly. Get used to playing your quarter notes first. And then just add it in bit by bit. So that's the first one to play. The second one, uh, you're going to be playing the melody two notes at the same time to make it sound a little bit fuller. And you're going to play the third and second strings. So you start off with them both open like that. Then you're going to add in first fret on the second string, second fret on the third string. Then slide the whole thing up two frets. Then you're going to play the 5th fret on both strings and then just work your way back down. Again with the bass pattern. Then the last way to play it, um, again sounds a little bit different, it's the same basic pattern as our two note melody, um, only this time you're going to move your middle finger down to the fourth string and then just play exactly the same thing. So it'll sound like this. Okay, so then when you start mixing them around, uh, they sound quite nice together. Okay, so that's your main melody part that you're going to be playing in the intro and you know, between choruses and bits like that. Uh, the verse is, is built around that but with a couple of extra bits in as well. Uh, so you would play that, you start off with exactly the same pattern. So you play the first half of it and then the whole thing. So they're all on the 5th fret, on the 5th uh, string, 4th string and 2nd string. And then again, you're still just playing. And then just 
just filling in notes in between. There's no particular pattern for that. And then back to the sliding down part of the melody. So if I play the whole lot through for you. Okay, so the next part is the chorus. Uh, there's, there's three chord shapes to learn for that, and they're all fairly simple. Um, your, your bass notes are going to be going up, starting on the 2nd fret, up to the 4th, up to the 5th. And the rest of the chords fall around that, so you're going to have the 2nd fret on the 4th string. So that's your first chord shape. Then when you move up to the 4th fret, you're going to play your index finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string. And then your last shape, up to the 5th fret, and you're going to play the 4th fret on the 3rd string. OK, so that's, that's basically it. And then again your picking pattern. So obviously you've moved your, your bass note down from your 5th string to your 6th string now. So you're going to be playing as your thumb picking pattern, the 6th string and the 4th string instead of the 5th and 4th. So that last note there, you're just playing the, if you can see, the 5th fret, fret on the 4th string. again. Okay? That's basically it. Uh, the other thing to th I should say is just when you go into the chorus, um, so at the end of the verse when you have so there's that little step down there, the fourth fret and the second. Um, those are all the main parts. Uh, it's a really easy song to play around with and put your own little bits into as well, so I'm not really going to go into much more detail on exactly how it is in the recording, because you can make it your own anyway. <laughs>